Microsoft Flight Simulator. Released in 2020, it has amazed many people with its beauty. But despite its beauty, it does have its flaws, one of which is live weather. Some have described this feature as being the latest weather forecast rather than actual live weather. So, is there a solution to all of this? One company seems to think so. This is Rex 6 Weather Force 2020 by Rex Simulations, also known as Rex Game Studios. Rex, or Real Environment Extreme, is known in the flight simulator community for their other weather products such as Rex 4 Texture Direct, the WX Advantage Radar, Rex 5 Skyforce 3D, and Environment Force, and the non-weather product Worldwide Airports HD. Now they are back to amaze the flight simulator community once again with Weather Force. As real as it gets. Now where have I heard that before? Weather Force is the new meter-based dynamic real-time weather engine for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Meter, or Meteorological Aerodrome Reports, is a format for reporting real weather information which is used by aircraft pilots and by meteorologists who use this information to assist in weather forecasting. This meter data is updated six times an hour in Weather Force and downloaded directly from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. WeatherForce also utilizes uniquely built algorithms to combine both meter and model data to cover sparse areas such as deserts and oceans. It will also read the remarks provided with live meter reports to determine if storms are near the aerodrome. What this means is that an airport might be reporting clear conditions, but remarks indicate that there are storms nearby. WeatherForce will read this and generate those storms near the reporting station. WeatherForce also has a smoothing mechanism, which will gradually smooth and transition the weather over time between updates. After purchasing, downloading, and decompressing the initial file, you will be greeted with three additional files, one of which is the handy digital manual. It's full of useful information about the program, but most importantly, you'll want to be sure you read the pre-installation section. The manual has no problem reminding you every three pages or so to not install the REC software into your Flight Simulator folder or Program Files folder. After you've read over the pre-installation section before doing any type of installation, now it's time to actually do the installation. Be sure to run the executable in administrative mode and afterwards you'll be taken through the end user license agreement and then to a screen where you'll need to enter your customer information. Be sure to have this information written down and saved because you'll need it again later. It will then check to see if there are any prerequisites that need to be installed. After this, it will ask you to select the installation folder. The manual recommends a default location that comes up, so that's what we'll do. While Rex is installing, now is a good time to open up that digital manual and get a little familiar with the program. Now that Weather Force 2020 is installed, let's start it up and see what we got. First thing you'll need to do is register your product. You'll enter the same information here that you wrote down a little bit ago. After you click Submit, you'll be taken into the program and it will give you a few tips in regards to adding your favorite airports, using the navigation buttons, becoming aware of the weather engine status, and important information to know prior to clicking the Start Weather Synthesis button. Once you have Microsoft Flight Simulator started, it's time to create a flight. We'll be creating a flight out of the Zulu Papa 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 Airport in Kunming, China. Even though the airport has been closed down, we can still get meter data for it. Here is a weather report off of Google, and this is what the weather looks like by default in Flight Simulator. It's not bad, but how accurate is it? This is where Weather Force comes in. First, we need to clear out the weather. After that, we'll click on Start Weather Synthesis from within Weather Force. It takes a few seconds, but after Weather Force is done injecting the weather, this is the result. It's pretty good, and you can see that the meter data that Weather Force pulled is very close to what we saw earlier from the Aviation Weather Center. 
let's take a look at some other airports and how the weather was updated by WeatherForce. Pretty impressive. It's not always perfect, and I've also noticed that it's not always pulling in the latest meter report. However, the results appear to be much better than what Flight Simulator does on its own. At times, I've had to quit Weather Force and restart it in order for it to actually pull in real weather. As you can see here, you'll also notice that ATIS messages. aren't exactly reliable anymore. Since it is looking at what you have Flight Simulator set to, it's reporting the skies as clear. Another thing you can do with Weather Force is weather themes, or what they call dynamic changing weather scenarios. These scenarios offer opportunities to fly in various weather conditions in which the weather changes during your flight. This is quite nice if you're looking to start your flight with a certain theme, but not have the same static weather for the entirety of your flight, unlike the default themes in Flight Simulator. Let's take a look at the scenarios you can choose from. Fair weather day, calm weather conditions that have some slight growing clouds and weather conditions. Approaching cold front, weather that will change rapidly as a cold front approaches. Approaching warm front, Weather that will turn gray and rainy, but it will eventually improve over time. Hot and humid summer day. It's hot, humid, and the skies can be a bit bumpy. Lake effect snows. These are random, but can create very dangerous conditions for takeoff and landings. Winter storm. Weather that gradually deteriorates as a major snowstorm approaches. Crisp winter day. Very fair weather, but the air is just a bit nippy. Breezy. Shifty winds on the surface as well as somewhat turbulent skies. And spring showers. It's what you would expect, but there might be a few surprises. Rex has also mentioned that they can periodically add new scenarios to this list, which will automatically be added to Weather Forest without the need to go through an official update. Keep in mind that these scenarios will disable real-time weather injection, but you can re-enable it by clicking the Live Weather button to the left. Another great feature is the ability to search for weather. You can search by specific airport to see what the weather will be like before starting a flight. You can also do a search for specific types of weather based on type, visibility, cloud base, and wind speed. When searching for weather, I generally just search by type and select a result that I find most interesting. You can also customize weather force to your liking on the settings page. You can convert data over to Celsius and millibars, have the application log errors if any come up, choose whether or not weather force will play a startup or application sound, enable real-time weather injection, have the weather loaded instantly rather than over time, Adjust how often you would like weather updates and how often the weather will transition. Lastly, you can choose to have auto updates turned on or if you prefer to do it manually. So is Weather Force 2020 worth it? The price comes in at $21.95 or 18.87 euros, depending on where you purchase it. It's not bad for the price, it's not expensive, and it will continue to be updated. In fact, they are planning to add historic and archived weather data, shared presets by the community, 
and a fully featured flight center and mapping system in the near future. It certainly isn't a necessary addition to your flight simulator arsenal, but it does give a better variety and depiction of weather than just a default flight simulator. Also, the dynamic weather scenarios and the ability to search for certain types of weather, I think, is well worth the price of admission. Be aware that the program is not without its share of problems. Several times I had to close out a weather force, restart it, and then resync in order for it to inject weather properly. It's also not completely up to date in regards to meter reports, but it's not too far behind either. Still, it can be disappointing if you're looking for real accurate weather, and a lot can change in just one hour. Also, ATIS messages will be completely useless since it thinks that there are clear skies and doesn't see what weather force is injecting. Hopefully, that will be addressed soon. You also won't get any new cloud textures or formation types, although we could see this later on as we have in previous versions of Rex. And hopefully, we'll get an even better depiction of serious thunderstorms with intense rain than we do now. However, if you're looking for something to spice up your weather experience just a bit in your flights, then I think you'll like what Weather Force 2020 has to offer. If you enjoyed this review, then I do have some other ones ranging from new content to classic. More reviews of products are planned, and I hope you'll share this video on social media as well as subscribing and becoming part of our community. You'll want to click that notification bell so that way you're notified of future reviews that are uploaded as well as other flight simulation content. Thanks so much for watching, and have a killer awesome day.